Hey guys, so I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face and then I'm going to block out the tail of my eyebrows with three things. As long as you have Elmer's glue stick, a concealer, and a, um, like a loose face powder in whatever color you want. I'm just using Neutral Set by Ben Nye because either way I'm going to make my face as pale as I can with the lightest concealer from the Camouflage palette. And um, you just repeat the steps like I don't have a tutorial for it but if you guys would like one you can comment below if not there's a ton of them on YouTube and it's just a process of glue and then powder and then concealer and then more powder and then more glue and yeah you get the picture Now to make myself paler, more vampy, I'm going to be taking the lightest shades in the camouflage palette with this small pointed, I don't even know what it's called, I know it's from Crown Brush though, it's, yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say, I don't know what it's called, but I really like it for the under eyes. I am stuck using it all over my face because for some reason my normal foundation brush wouldn't pick up the, the, <laughs> the color. So I'm just going to blend it out with my normal foundation brush and this is the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to be applying this all over my face and blending it out to create an even pale skin color. And now to set everything in place, I'm using Neutral Set by Ben Nye. You can use whatever translucent face powder or light face powder you own. And yes, I am putting a lot on, <laughs> but it's okay. It all blends out nicely. It's not cakey or anything crazy. And now to start the sultry vampy eyes, I'm going to be using Black Bean by NYX to um, use as a base for the darker shadows I'm going to be using on top of it. Now with an angled brush, I'm going to be using this to create a very winged out eyeshadow look. And on top of the black bean, I'm going to be putting Sugar Pills Poison Plum. But you might as well just use your fingers because you don't get the same color payoff with a brush. You'll see what I mean in a couple minutes or seconds. <laughs> After applying a Sugar Pills Poison Plum everywhere, I'm still using a transition color, which I don't know what it's called, but it's my favorite one from the Bombs Nude Tude palette. And also from that palette, I'm going to be using the burgundy shade in my crease as well, just to give it more of a red, see what I mean? So much brighter by using your finger. But anyway, so I'm going to be going in with Night Moth Lip Liner, but I'm just going to use it as a eyeliner anyway. And I'm going to put that under my lashes to smoke out just a little bit. I didn't go that low with it, but I'm just using that burgundy shade from the Nutude palette. I'm going to have the name down below because I can't remember it right now. And I'm just going to smoke that out with a little bit of a red shade from the 88 Original Color Palette from Coastal Sense. And I'm going to be using this red glitter liner I got from Hot Topic, and the brand is called Blackheart, but I don't know where else they would sell that. And I'm just going to smoke this out a little bit with some black eyeshadow to build up the intensity. And once you're happy with your eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with black gel liner from Essence called Midnight in Paris to create these straight across like creepy eyebrows <laughs> but my eyebrows are completely different so you'll notice this one 
looks nothing like my other one. Like it has like a little, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but you guys will notice, I think. Sometimes a little bit of glitter isn't enough. So I went in and I added more and I'm taking a shimmery white shade from the same Nude Tube palette and boom, I finished the other eye. But I'm gonna, you'll notice I'll keep going back to that red glitter because it's easier to apply that in layers because if you keep trying to apply it while it's wet, it's just gonna move all over the place. So you have to let it dry and then add more layers to your liking. And these lashes are by Kiss. I found them at a beauty supply store. I don't know if they have them at Walmart or anything, but I'll have the numbers linked down below. And I'm just gonna fill in my inner corner with Physician Formula Eyeliner. Just a little bit to um, blend in the lash band with my, um, with my eyelid, I guess. And I'm contouring here with the taupey and gray shades from the ADA color palette just to give myself a more sunken in cheek look. And I'm gonna use this to contour my temples and my jaw area and even a little bit on my nose and also my cupid's bow. And after contouring cupid's bow with a little bit of the darker shadows, I'm gonna highlight the, I don't know how to explain those. I'm gonna highlight that, or is that also your cupid's bow? Hmm. I don't know, but I'm gonna highlight that with some concealer and I'm gonna finish contouring. And what else am I gonna do? <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna do my lips. Oh no, wait. I'm gonna do this super Maleficent S contour by using a smaller blending brush to make the contour more precise. And then to also make that sound stand out a bit more, I'm gonna use Max Gesso to highlight that contour to make it look like it's really sticking out. And I'm also gonna use that underneath my cheekbone, like on my, I don't know what to call that, but you, you get what I'm saying because you're watching. And then I'm gonna add my bottom lashes which they're really comfortable, I really like these. And like I said, look more glitter because you can never have too much glitter. But here I'm using a white concealer just to clean up the contour a little bit just, and this will also make it pop out more. And with Mary Luminizer, I'm going to highlight cheekbones and my nose a little bit and my cupid's bow. And after that, now I'm going to use Night Moth to line my entire lips. And then I'm going to use Wet n Wild's Fergie lipstick and Pagan Angel, I think it's called. It's a black lipstick and I really like it. It's a um, cheap alternative to like Melt Cosmetics black lipstick. I don't know what it's called now. But yeah, and then I use their black cherry on top to give it that like oxblood color. And I'm just using this little brush to blend in the colors together. And I'm going to add in these little like smirk lines at the end of my lips just to make it a little creepier. And to clean up the lipstick and everything, I'm just going to use <laughs> my concealer. Now after adding the things, you guys can leave it like this, but I'm going to take it up a notch and add in some contacts and some blood. Okay, and this is option number two. We're going to take some blood of any kind. You can buy the... I found one at the dollar store that I actually was going to buy just to use really quickly, but this is the Street Fleet blood. Fleet Street. Oh, I just said that backwards. Fleet Street Bloodworks Drying Blood in Fresh Shake Well. So here is a subtle way to add some blood for anyone that wants to but is scared to overdo it or you think it'd be overkill if I did one over here? Let's just do one.
Oh yeah, that one's, that one's doing it for me. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, I'm done with the blood. So you guys, that was super simple and easy. And all you need is blood and one of these droppers that you can buy at Walgreens for like a dollar or less. And if you don't have one, you just use a Q-tip and like dab it. <laughs> it's like itchy. <laughs> See, and they're supposed to dry like this so that it looks like you permanently have barbecue sauce on yourself. But yeah, so I would be happy walking around like this because I'm all for the glam. But it's Halloween, you gotta have some gore. So, maybe just a few drops of blood here and there. So, this is my complete look, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me do this. I hope it helps someone for their future Halloween costume ideas stuff. If you have any questions about where I got anything or what any product I use is, I will have it all down below. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, please thumbs up, I thought I lost a nail, please thumbs this up and subscribe for more videos.